Stay tuned for tips and techniques from the nation's top chefs in the Chef's Kitchen. This one I'm making today dates back to the 18th century, and the reason it was called forced because forced was an abbreviation from Farsi, yes. from French, which means stuffed. Yes, and so hi, we're yep. back, and now I'm joined by Chef Walter Stave of City Tavern. So forced, forced means stuffed. Correct. The Farsi, and then the, the and that's in a French English, term. Correct. And what you got to do is actually, believe it or not, when they ask me about, you know, how to entertaining, what's the worst thing that can have me entertain? Being in the kitchen and being, oh. as we call it, in the weeds. In the weeds, <laughs> right, in the thick of it. Correct. So, right? so this is a great dish for entertaining. So it's a do-ahead dish. Absolutely. Right. And once you have it done, you can have a glass of wine, you can party, and you can... Now and also, everyone loves it, too. Well, this is different today. I'm making this in more of an appetizer. What I call it is a two-biter. Uh -huh. You're always Abu Danza anyway. <laughs> no, this is good. So anyway, cabbage, take it, salt water, throw it in there, and okay. it's like a It won't take long at all. And obviously, when it's done, it's done in this level, blanched. And you want to blanch it so that it's flexible. Anytime you use onion in any recipe, not just mm -hmm. this recipe, any recipe you use, you want to make sure you do one thing. Yes. And you want to just saute the onion quick. The reason for that is, the acidity in there will ruin your dish 100%. You want to make it uh, translucent, no color. So what I do, I take ground beef. Could we use ground pork? Absolutely, ground pork, now, ground turkey. You, in your book, you're so informative in your book. Didn't you say that the original recipe was made with ground veal? You got it. Right? And veal is very expensive and kind of very surprising in the 18th century. Yes. Which is capital, but remember, at those days, it wasn't about money, it was about the flavor. But it yeah. doesn't really change much. So all I do, ground beef. I have the onions that I already sweat down before, see? I have some parsley, they were chopped. This particular recipe calls for rice. Rice. Now what I recommend is to do, not boil the rice, but make the rice as a pilaf, which means equal parts rice, equal parts stock. So you make one cup of rice, oh. one cup of stock. Just add an egg or two in there. The okay. recipe calls for three eggs. We're gonna make a little less than the recipe. Okay. And then we can, can we mix this one up. It? You wanna make sure that you don't overwork it. Because yes. what happens if you overwork it, like in a kitchen machine, Yes. What can happen very simply that you burn the egg white and it breaks and will never bind again. Mm -hmm. You know that, there's a mm -hmm. little trick to it. Yeah, I was recently in Monticello for a show and uh, che Thomas Jefferson's recipe peels the entire cabbage without breaking it loose. So it looks like a lotus flower. What you do is you take it and boil it and then you peel the leaves like so, but you don't let them, they fall off right now, but you don't let them fall off at the bottom. Okay. And you peel and you peel and you peel. But he keeps them under stock to get on the bottom. Now, obviously, oh, wow. what I did earlier, I cut a... a you, you took the core out. To get it out mm -hmm. easy. Because this is what you want. Just like so. Now, when we're, when we're doing this at home, we should do this ahead of time and allow them to cool down, right? Absolutely. Right. If you would make this as a main course, you would do two pieces of cabbage. Oh, okay. Like so, so overlap them. Mm -hmm, overlap them. And you would double the amount of the stuffing. And then you go, basically, principle of an egg roll. Wrap in the sides. And you wrap it in tight. And you really want to be really, really tight. And you go down to the end. And pick it. now, if you follow my recipe from the Black Forest book, which yeah. makes those, we now put a piece of bacon on top for yes. extra measure. Is that a Black Forest touch? <laughs> it's a Black Forest touch. You I actually do two things. A little demi, and what I'll do, I have a little bit of a hot pepper uh, jelly that I put on it. It's very, very hot. Hot that pepper jelly. A, that gets a great flavor. Smell that, it has a habanero in it. Oh, I put oh it wow, uh -huh. you I'm can gonna... smell the heat. So let me, <laughs> oh, let me show nice. you. Oh, how nice. So basically for this one I would do like so, tie it in and then you wanna bring the edges back again. Yes. Bring it back again. And you can, again, you can fix any tears. It's just cut uh, Just it. by, right, just, just cut like it so. or just by rolling uh, it tight. Correct, and what happens when you put it in the, uh, in the oven, it kind of ties itself up, yeah. you know? Look at here, like that and stick it in the oven. Yes. And they don't take long that size. Maybe 10 minutes at 375 and you're done. Really? Oh yeah, because it's very small, the amount of meat. This is the meat, the cabbage is already cooked. Oh, that's right, So the it looks like so. Cooked. You got it ready. Now comes my trick. I take a little bit of this, I unbelievable, and I just put a little bit over it. No this, more than that. This is the Walter Stave touch? This is more than Walter Stave touch. This is, uh, Hannah, Hannah Glass did, I don't yeah. think she did this in 18th century. Actually, she, she did. Did she, she make did hot pepper lot. jelly? Are you kidding how much hot pepper? Thomas Jefferson grew uh, bird peppers and habaneros and Tabasco peppers in his in garden. In Monticello? Still, yes. I do a little bit of brown sauce, just a half, so half this the size. Is, oh, so half. Just a half the size, so like so. So this is the demi glass. Now, this is a demi glass, right out of my book. And all of these recipes are in your City Tavern cookbook. Yep. Wonderful cookbook to have, especially around the holidays. You cook such earthy dishes. So now what is that? Dishes. Wait, I show you what it is. <gasps> my favorite. That's horseradish. 
And so horseradish, when you fry it, radish? when you fry it, it gets hot. Oh, how interesting. But it also makes it absolutely gorgeous because you get a nice oh. height to it. But it has heat. Don't, don't make no mistake about it. But no, imagine. it does. But it's got a great crunch. Look at that. I love that. I love your fried garnishes. Look at that. Walter, that is excellent. I tell you. That Good is doctor. heartwarming. That stepped the up good, with the red pepper jelly and that really rich demi glace. This is a meal for me. But see how and nice you're the, thinking this is a two biter? The, it's a two biter, one bite, two bite. <laughs> but you know what's nice about it? The cabbage maintains its crispness. Yes, but and it's, you don't want to you don't want to, you don't want to cook it too much, just like it's, that. It's perfectly cooked, Walter. Everything we do is perfect. <laughs> Happy <Almost>. holidays. <laughs> To see today's recipe and all of the recipes featured on the Chef's Kitchen, log on to chefskitchen.tv.